What is up all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube? The old coot here coming at you with another exciting video. Mixed rice. Who doesn't love mixed rice? Especially for backpacking, camping, prepping. Let's say you're going to go on a boat or you're going to take a long trip, camper, RV, even just at work, you know, bring these with you to work. They all come sealed, which is kind of nice. I basically popped the seal off of this one just to show everybody what the inside looks like. But what you get in there is you get a... Um, uh, one of these dry packs. Do not eat this. Throw this thing away. Obviously, it says it right there. Do not eat. You get the idea. Don't microwave uh, oxygen absorbers. So this basically you toss and you throw away. What you do is uh, when you look inside here, it comes with a spoon. How cool is that? Each one of these comes with its own little tiny little spoon, uh, which is perfect because then that way you don't have to worry about you know, how am I going to eat this stuff if I don't have a spoon? So like in an emergency situation, there you go. But basically mixed rice, right? One serving per package. This is pretty hefty. I mean, this is almost like, like two palmfuls of dried, right? Dehydrated rice. So when you fill this up with water, pretty filling, I have to admit, probably you can get uh, two people to eat one package if you're having some other stuff with this, obviously, like if you're taking this on a backpacking trip and you're going to be making like, you know, some vegetables and a steak or something similar, you get the idea. Uh, gourmet in pouch. That's basically their labeling made in Japan and all that good stuff. Five year shelf life ready in 15 minutes. Just add hot water, uh, but don't microwave this because obviously there's metal in there. There's some kind of I think that's mylar lining or something similar for, as a heat reflector so that it so that it heats up. And the water can absorb back into the rice quickly. So as you look in there, you have a spoon, you have all of your dehydrated ingredients. And then what you would do is as you, as you add your water, uh, those are your fill lines. So what it's telling you is, is when you fill it up with water, basically you fill it up to between those two lines is my guess. I don't read Japanese, but I'm assuming that's what it says. Very cute marketing, very cute packaging in here. Uh, you know, the pictures kind of tell the story, you know, you can kind of tell that you fill it up to, I guess you fill it with water, I guess, to between those two lines and then it will expand in there as well, I guess. Uh, so here's the backside of water. Here's basically what your package looks like on the backside. Take the, uh, deoxidizer outright and spoon out of the package, then extend the bottom of the, of the, of the package. So what they're saying is, See the bottom right there? They're basically saying just kind of open it up a little bit so that the water can get all into those nooks and crannies and all that stuff. Uh, and then basically here's number two. You basically pour boiling water up to the pouring line inside of the pack so you get the idea. And then zip up the pouch, wait 15 to... Here it says 15 to 60 minutes. I don't think they meant that long. I probably... My guess is if you do it with hot water, it's 15 minutes. If you do it with warm water, it's one hour. Uh, but then by that time, you know, your rice will be basically room temperature, which is totally fine. You can do that too. Uh, depending on the water temp, fluff with the spoon. There you go. And then enjoy it. Here's your cautions. You know, hot water, because obviously you're putting hot water in there. Do not microwave again. They're, th they're letting you know that. And then do not eat this, uh, you know, this packet thing or whatever. Uh, so then here's... The packaging itself, there you go. There's your nutritional facts. So you kind of get the idea. You're getting seven grams of protein out of this. Uh, there's dietary fiber. There's your carbs, 81 grams of carbs. I cannot tell you how important it is when you're hiking, backpacking especially, to carb up. If you carb up, you're going to retain more water. It's going to keep you hydrated longer. So that's the best thing you can do here is you're getting water and you're getting carbs in one package and in one meal. What I would do if I was backpacking, which I'm going to be doing soon, and I'll try to do one of these videos out in the field to show you all what this looks like when we're out in the wild. What I would do is I would put, I would open up the package kind of like maybe an hour before you're ready to have, you know, dinner or lunch or whatever or snack, whenever you're going to have this. And I would kind of pre, pre, just prehydrate it just a little bit, maybe put in like half the amount of water just so that it can start hydrating. And then when you get to camp, Basically, you pour in like hot water to kind of heat it through and also just to get, you know, the rest of the hydration going so that you can eat it quicker than 15 minutes. That's just one tip or trick I like to use. Uh, so anyways, mixed rice, one serving per package, gourmet and pouch. We already showed you that. Uh, 3.5 ounces, that's dry, 100 grams. So basically, once you hydrate it, you're probably looking at like 200, and maybe 300 grams total, uh, depending on how much water you add, the volume of water, all that good stuff. Uh, so there's alpha rice. That's basically what's what this flavor is. So there's your uh, uruchi rice, right? Did I pronounce that correctly? Carrots, burdock root, cognac, uh, cognacu. I'm sure you remember that from 
what is that from Iron Chef? If you remember seeing that shiitake mushroom, bamboo shoot, salt, scallop. Uh, so you got a little bit of fish flavor in there, I guess. Uh, sugar, dried bonito stock. Who doesn't love a good fishy broth? You know, like fishy in the best way possible, like a nice good fish broth. So you're getting that in here as well. Kelp, right? Good source of iodine, all that good stuff. You get kelp stock. Uh, there's ginger, there's vegetable oil in here, and then calcium hydroxide, I guess, is uh, one of their stabilizers, maybe. I guess is what that is. Serving size, 100 grams. We refer to the front of their package. Avoid direct sunlight, high temperature, high humidity, start room temperature. Nozomi food products located in Japan. So great little product. I do, I do love the Japanese caricature. Is that what that is in there? Look at how cute that is. Totally adorable. Anyways, these are going to be coming with me on a future backpacking trip up in the San Gabriel Mountains. If you're interested in that kind of thing, by the way, hey, the more the merrier. Go ahead and comment down below if you uh, are into the backpacking thing. That's something you might want to do when you're in Southern California or coming to visit. Open invitation. Open invitation. Like I said, the more the merrier. Just be cool with me and I'll be cool with you and be cool with the rest of the group and you get the idea. So anyways, there's your there's your packages and all that good stuff. Like I said, oh, and I do love the fact that it is resealable. So once you once you get going, you basically re-clip re this down and it's resealable. So if you do put this back into like, uh, you know, you only want to use like half of it. What I would do is pour half out into like some other kind of uh, those re-zip bags that I always mention in my other videos or something similar, you could divide it in two portions and then basically put the portion that you want to prepare in here, right, with all that reflective material in there to help the heating process and etc. You get the idea. Anyways, comment down below if you have any comments or questions. Also, there will be a link to these in the description section down there below to make sure to check that out. I will be doing a future review of these out into the field on some future backpacking trips, so make sure to check those out. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will catch you all on the next exciting video.